What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Sunshine Way. I am your lovely, lovely, lovely host, Kaya, and welcome back to my channel. So, in today's video, I'm going to be giving y'all some self care tips that cost you zero to maybe no more than $25 to do. Like, self care on a budget, okay? Um, things I like to do on a daily. So, daily self care on the budget that you could do every day to take care of you or to kind of help you decompress from the day because today was one of those days like I was tired I wasn't really in the mood and some things were kind of done that I was just kind of like mm, I ain't feeling that right so now that I'm home it's after school um, and plus, you know, if you're a teacher, you know, like, it's just time. At this point, it's time for the school year to be over. Like, why are we still here? Why are we still coming? Um, I'm just joking. But for real, you know, if you know. Um, so, anyways, I'm going to be showing y'all some things that we can do to decompress every day, to take care of ourselves every day, mind, body, and soul, that, you know, just help us stay sane and have us kind of putting ourselves um, putting ourselves at the top of our priority list um, whatever that means to you so in today I'm going to be giving you affordable self-care self-care on a budget daily self-care habits that you can do and these are not I'm not gonna give y'all a bougie mask thing because Mask, fit, facial, or like skincare is a whole task to me. So if I'm going to do some self care with skincare, it's gonna be my basic, okay? And that just doing my daily routine, skincare routine, is enough for me to feel like I'm taking care of my skin. You know, it doesn't mean, you know, you know all that. So let's get right into my first thing. My first thing is going on a walk. A walk costs you nothing and you don't have to drive to go walk you can literally walk in your neighborhood or walk to a close neighborhood where you can circle around or go to a park that you can walk around and it costs you nothing okay and here you are one checking off your exercise for that day right and two it's going to release some endorphins it's going to release some stress and you know you're going to really take care of yourself another thing i like to do while i'm walking is listening to some music it's nothing like putting on your favorite tunes whether you're in a mood because you're mad at somebody you want to listen to some music where you like bump you i don't care or if you want to be crying you want to like be like thank you lord for the day because i cannot be here or if you want to you know feel sassy and sexy whatever you want to do it's nothing like putting on your favorite music and just kind of like vibing out to some music zoning out loving yourself getting in some energy so that's the next doing. thing that you can do is cook some food now food can cost anywhere between ten dollars or two hundred dollars i don't know but if we're doing self-care on a budget and we're taking care of our wallets, you know, because doesn't it feel good to save money as well as, you know, attend to our health, which we need to fuel our body to take care of our body. So I cook me some food. So I'm not a big fan of Olive Garden. Like I would, that wouldn't be the first place that I go out to eat to, but Olive Garden has this soup that I love that has like I want to say more of like a beef sausage or like a ground beef in it as well as kale um, I want to say onions and mushrooms I don't have any mushrooms but I'm going to turn this camera around and show y'all what I made so basically I made this and if you've ever been to Olive Garden you know exactly what I'm talking about by looking at this so it has potatoes, onions, um, and then small, small. Instead of doing like 
just loose ground beef. I decided to do little meatballs just so I can make sure I'm getting the next that chunky thing meat. that I would say is taking a shower. Now, like I said earlier, you know, usually when people do these like self care, my little reset, you know, they go into this whole like four hour type thing. But I'm literally talking about daily easy things that make sure that you're taking care of yourself on a daily note and that don't take like hours of time and whatever. So always taking a hot shower and putting on some comfy clothes. I have on a t-shirt and some shorts and um, I'm, I don't have on a bra so I'm covering up my shirt because you know if you a girl you know okay when it's time to let them go you gotta let them go anyways so now that I'm out the shower I've kind of been letting my skin air dry but what I'm gonna do is my skincare routine which y'all have seen before but it's really really simple so I just use this rose water right here um like I said earlier um I'm not going to do like a whole mask or anything like that because I really don't have the time. It's 9.30 and I would like to be in the bed by 10.30. And doing a mask is just itch to work when I already want to sit down and lay down. You know what I'm saying? So, there's just a lot of itch work. So, I spray the rose water on there and kind of let that dry. And while that's drying, I'm going to spray because, you know, we all love to smell good. And so I want to go to bed smelling good, you know. So my man might want to smell me or something. I don't know. Sage and honeysuckle air apostle. So I'm not using one of my, like, expensive perfumes or one of my bath and body works. I'm just going to use this one because I'm about to go to bed. And I'm just spraying it kind of on my clothes, but a little bit on me because I have real sensitive skin. So I can, you know, be spraying all that. And then... I want to put my Cureology on, which I've talked about quite a bit. And y'all, I love my Cureology. It, I get compliments on my skin quite often. And it's because of this Cureology. And because of my prayers to the Lord himself. Because it's been a long road for you, girl. I'm looking at the viewfinder so I can see. So I just rub that in to my skin. Y'all see I got a little spot right there. So I'm going to hold down some in there. And there we go. And that just makes me feel so good because coming from a person who like had a lot of skin issues and things like that, like just knowing I'm doing something at night to make sure that my skin continues to look good, it just makes me feel good in general. You know what I'm saying? And so I don't need to do all the extras or take up an extra 20 minutes doing scrubs and all that type stuff on a daily basis. You know what I'm saying? Just need to make sure I'm doing my simple stuff. And then to top that off, I use CeraVe Daily Lotion Moisturizer. A little bit of that on. And yeah. So make sure that you're not thinking that every day needs to be um, something super detailed to show that you're taking care of yourself. You just need to do the little stuff, you know. Do the little stuff. The little things, they matter, okay. And if you do the little things, it will benefit you in the end. And then lastly, which I can do off camera, is I'm going to lotion my body with this Palmer's lotion. So it's raw shea butter daily body lotion. So. You know, just make sure I moisturize my skin. And that is what I got. Take care. The last but not least thing that you want to do is take care of your mental 
and your spiritual well-being. So, hey y'all. Um, one thing that I do in the morning is I do do my devotional, but I just use my Bible. But I do that in the morning, so I do take care of my spiritual, you know, early. You know, I want to get that done in the morning. But at night, this is what I got. So I think I said I was going to do a video kind of going through all my notebooks and journal, journals that kind of like help me with my mental and spiritual well-being. But for tonight, to try to get that self-care in and that thing that costs you nothing. So you can literally use a regular notebook that costs maybe 80 cents at the store or notebook paper and you create a whole binder or you can um you know go to go to walmart target you know get a little fancy get cute and get you know one of these notebooks but they usually are no more than like six dollars something like that you know something slight so in this notebook this side it tells you to write down your daily affirmations but i like to write my devotional notes down there um and then one word to lead your day so my word for today was uh wisdom and understanding and then judgment and discernment and so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to go and kind of reflect on how that affected me throughout the day and how did I apply what I learned in my devotion today? And then I'm going to talk about my thoughts for today. Like what made me happy? What challenged me? How did I help someone? How did, um, what did I learn about myself? What could I have done differently? So going through those things really help you reflect on yourself so that you can continue to improve as a person and improve your mental health and improve your well-being and reflect on your actions and how, um, your actions and your thoughts your inner thoughts and your feelings can control how you feel basically as well as like thinking about how you are responsible for you you can't control what other people do and what other people say um and that's a thing that i had to learn the hard way if you loving people right and you doing right by them if you're handling your business correctly and taking care of things that you need to take care of then that's on them if they don't want to do right. You know what I'm saying? And then, um, so that's all I'm going to do for today. Some days I do write inside this book. But if I don't feel like writing, would it be self-care to force myself to write more? No, it wouldn't. So today I don't feel like doing a lot of writing because I did a lot of typing today um, with my transitional IEP meetings. And so um, today I kind of just want to answer those questions, reflect on my devotion this morning. Um, but I've talked about this book before and it asks you different questions um, so that you can reflect on your practices in life and what you want for your future. And this is a good, good, good book for that so yeah that's what i'm gonna do and then after i do that the last thing that i'm gonna do is scratch so i'm just gonna do um like a little montage showing y'all me writing in my book as well as show y'all a couple of different scratches that i like to do and then we're gonna cap up
of my video i hope that you really really enjoyed it i hope that you learned from this that you don't need to have the finest brand of skincare or have the most money or go on these extravagant things to take care of yourself it is more important to take care of yourself daily because if you do just a little a little act of self-care every day it'll overall benefit your mental health and your well overall well-being and so every day we should be doing at least one or two things for ourselves to take care of ourselves to get us like a little 10 minute of a long time to stretch out our bodies and release the stress um and there's different other things that I do too, but this is just some of the things that I wanted to show you today. So if you would like to see like a part two or another part to this video, please comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Um, as well as if you would like to, me to do a detailed like spiritual and mental health um, kind of type video um, when it comes to my journals. And I show y'all every single journal I got because I am for sure. A journey addict. There it is. There it is. I'm a journal addict. I'm a journal addict. I love to journal. And I got 3,000 journals. And every time I go to the store, I be tempted to look at the journals. And to be picking up journals. And to have regular notebooks. Yeah, I got a problem. So, if y'all would like to see that. And y'all would like, you know, me to get some help with my journaling. Then comment down below and give this video a thumbs up but yeah y'all have made it to the end of this video please 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 don't forget to uh hit the subscribe button and tap 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 the notification bell so you can be notified every time your girl upload and remember remember because it's important oh my god don't forget be humble be inspiring be kind y'all and don't forget to shine i see y'all on the next one Peace. Bye.